Good morning. Today, Pastor Tim and I have traded places where I am usually leading worship uh, in the sanctuary for the grown-ups and Pastor Tim usually does the time with children. Today, Pastor Tim was helping to lead worship in the sanctuary and I get to do the children's moments. So I get to have some time with you and I'm very glad for that. This morning, Pastor Joanna and Pastor Tim talked about temptation. A temptation is something that we want to have or do that maybe we shouldn't, maybe it's not healthy for us, or it's not good for the people around us. And so a temptation um, is probably something we should say no to, but it's something that we want to say yes to. For example, these, see if I can put them up so you can see them, these are jelly beans. Now, these might be the only jelly beans in our house right now. And everybody in my family loves jelly beans. My daughter loves jelly beans. Uh, my husband loves jelly beans. I love jelly beans. We all love these. The thing is, right now, I am downstairs and I have the jelly beans and they're upstairs, and they don't know that. So, I am tempted to eat all of these jelly beans by myself. I am tempted to eat them right now while they're upstairs, and they wouldn't know that I'd eaten them. And if I did that, I wouldn't have to share them at all. It's tempting, right? Everybody faces temptations like this. All of us. Even Jesus faced temptations like this. As we, as the grown-ups heard just a little bit ago. And it's hard when we face temptations. But there are three things that are really, really helpful that we can do when we're tempted that Jesus taught us about. The first thing we can do is to pray. When Jesus taught his disciples how to pray, the Lord's Prayer that we pray together every Sunday, one of the lines in the Lord's Prayer, one of the things Jesus taught us to pray is, help me with temptation, lead me not into temptation, and deliver me from evil. We can pray, God, help me. I really want to eat these jelly beans, and I know that I shouldn't. Help me have the strength not to and God will help us out. The other two things that we can do are things that Jesus taught. Jesus, when he was teaching us how we should live and how we should act, gave us two big commands. He said everything that we do should love God and love our neighbors. And so there's a sort of test we can do when we're tempted. We can ask, if I do this, if I have this, is that something that loves God? And if I, if I do this and if I have this, is that something that loves my neighbor? And I can ask, is, is eating these jelly beans something that loves God? It might be. It might be. But I know it's not something that loves my neighbor. Because if I took all of these jelly beans and I didn't share them with my family upstairs, that would not be very loving to them, would it? No. No, it wouldn't. Now, maybe your temptation is jelly beans, or maybe you, it's watching too much TV, or maybe it's not doing your homework and saying that you did, or maybe it's that you're tempted to go outside and play with friends, and right now, that's not a safe thing to do. It's not a good thing to do. It's not healthy for our neighbors. And so, I want you to remember this week, when you are tempted by any of those things or whatever tempts you, to pray and ask for God's help. And then to ask yourself those two questions. Does this love God? And does this love my neighbor? Now I'm gonna have to go upstairs in a second and share these jelly beans with my family. But before I do that, I think we should pray. 
When Pastor Tim leads us in prayer every Sunday, he has us repeat. So I want to invite you to repeat what I say. And he always has us get our prayer hands ready. Get your prayer hands ready. Ready? One, two, three. Dear God, thank you for all of your gifts to us. Help us to share those gifts, to love you and love our neighbors. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for logging on, and I hope to see you all very soon. In the meantime, know that your church loves you, I love you, and Jesus loves you.